Dave Wurzel and you're watching PHTV4. This is Spotlight. Today on Spotlight we are at Chicago Christian High School. Uh, Spotlight is on the girls cross country program. With me today is head coach Jay Christensen and one of his athletes, Anna Enderley. Uh, we're very fortunate. She's a top runner and uh, we're going to get into some of her stats which are really special. Uh, coach, maybe you first. You've been here for a while. You've been a head coach for a while. Can you give us your background as a teacher and coach at Chicago Christian? Sure. Uh, well, this is my 11th year teaching, 10th uh, year coaching. Um, this is my first job out of college. Um, I've been a runner my whole life. Kind of wanted to start, well, started wanting to become a teacher in high school and then started wanting to become a coach as well in, in college uh, when I enjoyed encouraging my teammates in that way. Um, and thankfully that opportunity opened up for me here at Chicago Christian. And yeah, it, it's been a uh, interesting story since. <laughs> As I say, and then the magic all fell into place. Or, I mean, truly, uh, you know, obviously if you've been doing it for, what, 10, 11 years, you said, I mean, that that's a wonderful tribute to you. And obviously you found a place that you, you like and you, you're doing well at it. I know your background. I've seen you downstate. So you're having, you know, tremendous success. Part of the success is standing right behind us here. <laughs> Uh, and I want to make sure I'm going to get this right. All right, Anna, you are a senior on the team. You are a two-time state qualifier in the 32, I mean, in the uh, cross country. You're also a state qualifier in the 3,200 meter run in track and field. I, I got that right. Okay, congratulations. That's a wonderful achievement. Obviously, I'm sure you've got big goals and expectations for this year. How has this season gone for you so far, the meets or invites that you've had already? Um, so far, it's been going pretty good. Um, the first meet didn't go as well as I would have hoped, um, but it was kind of a hotter day and I wasn't as prepared for it. But then our second meet, we had a relay meet, so um, I was teamed up with one of our freshmen and we did pretty well there. And then this last meet, I actually ended up winning, so that was pretty exciting and kind of shocking in the moment. Like I wasn't sure if it was all going to fall into place like that, but it was really nice. And it's still one of those things where like, I kind of think about it and I'm like, how did that happen? Um, so yeah, it's been going pretty well so far. I, I love your sense of humility that you, you're a state <laughs> qualifier. You've been in cross country and track, but even winning an invite can be shocking or a surprise sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, always expect the unexpected, I guess. That's one of the things Mr. C always teaches us, so. Good. All right, uh, Coach, so Anna obviously has had some success, and I'm sure she's going to have a lot more this season. How about how's the program doing in general so far? Um, we're doing pretty well because, um, we, uh, yeah, we've got a nice mix of veterans and rookies, um, and they seem to be moving in the right direction. Um, when, when Anna says she won the last meet, she actually led us to a team victory on that one as well uh, for both varsity and JV. Um, so we've got a good deep team, and as long as we're moving, or as long as we keep moving in the direction that we're moving in, um, it should be a, a good end to the year as well. Okay. It sounds like you're going to be competitive at a high level. That's the hope. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> then uh, maybe let's, let's talk in that direction, and I'll come back to Anna on this too. Uh, what are the big meets, big invites coming up for you this season? Uh, big meets coming up, uh, well, this weekend we actually have the Christian School invite up in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, that's always a good one with good competition, and it's also a nice bonding experience for the team because it ends up being our overnight trip. Uh, end of the, yeah, the end of this month we have the Lyle Main event, which is also a big, a big one with a lot of good competition there. Uh, those are probably the biggest ones before entering championship season in, in October. Okay, good luck. I love that schedule. I, it sounds like you have a great trip and, and good competition coming up. And what about you? Are there certain invites or meets that you're looking forward to, or certain competition you're looking forward to running against? Um, probably, yeah, all that he mentioned, like the Michigan meet has always been fun. Um, it's nice to have that back, especially since we lost it my sophomore year because of COVID and it's always fun with the team and the girls and stuff. And the Lyle main events is like super fun as well. Um, and then there's some other like smaller meets that we have a chance to defend our titles for. Like we won it last year as a team, like the TF North meet and then Tinley Park. So we're looking forward to that. And then obviously um, state and hoping to qualify for that. <laughs> so, yeah. Absolutely. Hopefully we'll see you with a medal on, right? Next <laughs> uh, we'll see about that one. Right. Well, good luck. Good luck. All right. So we'll, let's uh, turn away from it just a second. Um, one of the things I like, I really like about your crowd, Christian, is that your athletes get to do a lot of things involved. Uh, can you tell us what other like clubs or sports you do? So we already know one of them is track and field. You're going to do that again, right? You want to commit right now for a coach? I oh, will yeah. be there. Of course, 100%. All right. What about what else? 
else do you do? Um, I'm involved in theater, so I've been in all the theater productions. Um, we're doing Mary Poppins this year, so I'm trying to balance practices with that and practices with cross country already, which is kind of stressful. But hang on, hang on. What what part do you have? So do you know your role already? Yes, yes. I'm Mrs. Brill, so the maid. Okay. So just a nice supporting role, and it's always I don't know. It's always a fun time with that. Um, and it's worth the stress of trying to balance it with cross country and stuff like that. And then during the winter, we normally have our play. So, yeah. Okay, so you're a runner and a theater person. Yes. That's great. <laughs> uh, let me think, what else did I have here? All right, then let's, uh, favorite academic subject. Um, well, this semester I have a class called Spiritual Disciplines, which I really enjoy. It's kind of a class where like we get to grow in our faith and learn about like different forms of meditation and praying and stuff like that, which I just find interesting. So. Sounds no, it sounds very interesting. And then, uh, especially because you're a senior, I'm sure you're you're facing this or thinking about it. What happens after high school for you? Where are you headed? Um, so I'm, I don't have my college picked out yet. I'm in between Indiana Wesleyan University and Bethel in Indiana. Um, I hope to run cross country and track there, obviously. And then um, in terms of like what my major would be, probably something within like Bible teaching or Spanish teaching. And then I want to be a cross country coach. So, yeah. All right. So Coach Christensen might have another assistant in a, a few <laughs> years. Huh? Is that that? <laughs> All right. And then a final question for both of you. Um, Especially, I think, for athletes, and I know as a coach, I always felt the same way. You know, it's, it's nice to be able to turn the sources of inspiration, whether to help you as a coach or for you personally in some way, or as an athlete, somebody that you can draw strength from or support from in some way or encouragement. Uh, coach, how about you first? Does, do you have a favorite, I don't know, person, athlete, somebody that is, is a source of, you know, that type of inspiration for you? Uh, I mean, that's tough to say. There's a few different running coaches that I – see a lot from on on Twitter or, or things like that like that where we get well I get not just not just some of my training plans but also some of my phrases um, I would say like on a more personal of personal level of where I get a lot of my coaching philosophy and inspiration I mean a lot of my coaches have been inspiring in that uh, I think the method the methods that I use for coaching a lot of them I actually got from my college coaches at uh, Calvin University um, so I, I would say that those guys are probably the ones that, that really kind of push me in this direction. Okay, have a nice, powerful impact in your life for you. Anna, how about you? Where do you draw, or who do you draw, you know, inspiration from? Um, probably Cindy McLaughlin. She's a Christian, and I really appreciate that. And she's always like sharing um, inspirational stuff. And you know, she broke like her own world record like four times this past year. So I just think that's super cool. And she's also just like super humble and friendly with everyone. So yeah. So her personality, you draw strength from her and inspiration and as a role model, it sounds like, mm -hmm. all parts of it. Yes. Okay. All right, Anna, uh, thank you. Coach Christian, thank you very much. Wish you both the best this year. I hope you have an exciting finish to the season. Okay. I'm Dave Wurzel, and you've been watching Spotlight. The Spotlight's been on the Girls Cross Country Program at Chicago Christian High School. Thank you for watching.